Jesus Christ, look at all the pink you have. Pink wool, pink hair, something tells me you have a very sick fetish with the color pink. So, street harassment is something that, with the way that I kind of usually dress. The way you usually dress? I would mistake you as one of those weird otaku chicks who can't escape their fantasy of being an anime character. People would cringe at you. I come across quite frequently and let me tell you, it's not something that I enjoy. You see, there's two kinds of comments that you can get while you're out and about just trying to live your life. There can't be more than just two. I feel like a few people are whispering around their friend, What the fuck is with that chick? She looks like her entire body has been fused with pink paint. One of these is nice, brilliant, makes you feel happy and confident with yourself and these kind of comments normally come from you know like little kids or old ladies telling you that you look like a princess that you sexist motherfucker you're brightening up a grey day which is like okay thanks <sighs> those are the kind of comments that you tell your mum about like oh guess what someone said to me today and then there's the other kind, right? Which is called street harassment. Your definition of street harassment is very, very vague. I should know because I made a few videos about catcalling. I said this once and I will say it again. Words are just words. It is not harassment. Harassment being the, the key term here. These come in the form of... of just walking along the road, trying to get home, and they will say things to you like, You look like Pinkie Pie's anus. And some guy leering over you going, Oh, you look gorgeous. Or... Is that what really we should call harassment? By stating you look gorgeous? You're the reason MGTOW exists! Because you make it impossible for people to interact with you. A group of men walking along shouting rude things at you. Unless you live in the ghetto, I doubt that's ever happened to you. Or people telling you to smile when, you know, you're under no obligation to smile for your entire life because that would really hurt your face. What the fuck? So telling you to smile is on par with harassment? Holy shit, your stupidity is actually turning me gay! If I can't even tell a woman to smile because either she might need some cheering up or if I just want to see her smile or and laugh, or even take a picture without being considered to be a harasser on the street. There's no goddamn wonder why many women are opposing feminism and why there's an increase in MGTOW. Most women get these kind of comments. People who dress, you know, funny, get them even more. Funny doesn't describe you. Uh, my dad says that they're, they're jealous that I can be who I am, that they're scared of my confidence, and in a way I can see that. You dress like you just escaped from a little girl's playhouse. For fuck's sake, only little girls who play with Barbies would be jealous of you. And even then, that's not saying much. But that doesn't mean that it's any less, like, threatening when you're just walking on the road, living your life by yourself, trying to be a, you know, a functioning human being and people are trying to stop you from being a functioning human being. When people you know regular human beings work, right? They ignore comments that they don't like. You don't like some someone's comment, then you know what, just move on! People are trying to silence you and stop you from being someone who you are. And when I say people, I mean men and boys. And you're totally not a sexist for that statement whatsoever. The sheer numbers of, like, grown men who feel like it's okay to taunt and leer at and generally victimise, like, teenage girls 
just normal teenage girls just trying to live their life, which is disgusting. What if these girls like the intention? You don't know that. And people who are living their life in a way that's slightly more out there. And I'm just... <sighs> like, I don't dress how I dress. I don't walk with my head held up high and with a spring in my step. You don't dress up like the human personification of chewing gum? To antagonise other people. I do that for myself. I don't do it for people to look at me, although I do like it when people are nice about it. There's no fucking way that someone dress all pretty just for themselves. You sound like a fucking narcissist. I don't live my life to hurt other people. But people who say rude things to me, people who harass me on the street, men who harass me on the street are doing that. HOW DARE THESE MEN TELL YOU TO SMILE! To make me feel bad, and to make themselves feel better. And how in the world does that work? Maybe if they were next to you saying mean things like, You look like one of those rejected Powerpuff girls. Then you would have a point. But if you can't handle that, then get off the streets! About their shitty personalities. I don't know if it works. I don't know if they go home at the end of the day and go, Oh, do you know what? I said some really awful things to that girl today who I don't know, who I've never met. That's great. Only really desperate people would feel so proud about that. I feel really good about myself. Do you think they do that? If you are one of the people who say these things, does that make you feel good inside? If I did, I would feel good about it. Because by your definition, saying things like, you're pretty, is catcalling. And if it makes you feel uncomfortable, then there's something wrong with you. Do you feel fulfilled? Because I'll tell you what makes me feel fulfilled. When I have the confidence to be who I am, and that I'm happy in how I act and I'm happy in walking along the road with the sun on my face and huge pink heels on my feet. Stop! Let me just groan in pain for a second because that one was just awful. And that I know my life is okay even with these people being awful to me. Then what the fuck is the point of this video? If you just walk past these comments, there is no point of this video's existence. Hell, you shouldn't exist. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.